Right, so we picked up uh, our new trusty steed uh, called Springbuck, and I'm heading off from Johannesburg to Nelspruit. It's about 350, 360 k's to go and pick up Ant and Geordie. Um, and from there, we're going to be going through to Mankele, and we're going to be spending a couple of days at Mankele Mountain Bike Resort doing some insane stuff over there quick quick review on the truck so far it's a 70 series highways never the best friend but it eats up the miles nonetheless I would prefer to be on a dusty road right now rather than in 350 k's on a highway 1hc motor you're permanently going through the gearbox up and down the hills you down to fourth down to third one thing I do miss is all my charging capabilities that I've stuck into my truck and uh, the lack of USB ports to try and get everything charged while, while I'm driving is, is a bit of a hassle. Um, I do suggest when you do make the decision to rent a vehicle that you get uh, multi-plugs. So basically what I've got here is uh, one cigarette lighter, 12 volt goes into there splits into two and I've got two USB ports that would then stick into that so I do suggest that you take this with um, if you're renting a vehicle uh, nowadays we're pretty power hungry we're going to run a GPS or I'm running two GPS's so I'm recording this trip on mine uh, to have the track data and then the company gives you a GPS which won't shut up but anyway, um, so I'm using my GPS to record the track data so that I've got the track data for future use. And uh, the company gives you uh, a Garmin which has all the routes and tracks for Africa and the whole dang shoot. So um, otherwise it's pretty much self-sufficient. Well, the vehicle gives you everything. Again, pack and rucksack and uh, your camera gear. And you start her up and off she goes. So pretty pleased thus far let's uh, eat up the miles it's now 4.30 says I'll be arriving at 7.30 this evening It'll be good to see the wife and, and the little guy so I'm going to switch off now and you'll probably only speak to me tomorrow when I'm at Mankele Managed to pick up Adrenette and Jordan, and we're arriving here at Mankele. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. We've just arrived at Mankele and going to meet the owners right now, Mark and Jeff. Um, both of you, thank you and thank you for welcoming myself and my family to come and spend the next couple of days at this wonderful resort. Um, uh, we've just had a small glimpse of what's happening over here. I'll be showing you the rest as we go along, but I thought we'll take the time to have a chat and find out how, how this all came together. So, Mark, I mean, how did what was the thought plan you know, where did this start and, and when did you start it yeah um, we actually started this uh, quite some time ago it's now funny enough it's the 10th year and uh, yeah. about 12 years ago we were just playing a bit of a rugby match and we noticed how unfit we were and we decided we wanted to take up the sport okay. and that was before the whole mountain biking thing really started going wild and one of my mates said try it out and uh, 
said to Jeff, hey, come on, man, let's try it out. And he was not 100% keen and then said, oh, well, let's get a bike and check it out. And yeah. uh, we bought bikes and started riding. And uh, Jeff and his old man owns this farm, yeah. And we got started building trails. And wow, just from there, it all just started going wild. And we just kept on adding and adding. And that's, that's where we So you now. started as purely as a mountain bike? 100%. And, mountain bike. and then Jeff, how, you know, what was the next step? How did you see that moving forward? Well, the thing is, you know, we got a lot of uh, involvement from the local community, you know, all the guys looking for trails, hungry for decent trails to ride, you know. Yeah. Obviously, with the urbanization places, you know, all the little felt and felt trails are all disappearing. So this mm. is a perfect place with, the, you know, we had all these pristine trails everywhere. Yeah. And guys would come out here week after week. And we got more and more clubs coming out here, guys yeah. from Joburg, uh, you know, everyone was coming here and said, wow, you guys got a great place. You should really, you know, look at extending this and... Uh, we eventually started with accommodation and obviously from the accommodation it's just expanded you know we've had school groups coming out for okay. sort of like your felt school type of uh, adventure you know, adventure yeah. team building so um, i see yeah you've got the you've got a, a like a little obstacle adventure course or uh, so that the schools are obviously coming through and you're doing team building or what are you utilizing yeah that for? i mean we get the schools coming through then uh, we set up tents for them if it's big groups uh, like 100 to 150 kids at a time and uh yeah then we just as they arrive here we just take over uh, they go wild um <laughs> we imagine. have from uh, target shooting to river rafting doing the obstacle course we make them run yep. we make them do adventure races a lot of fun so the, the whole idea is for them to just get outdoors again and yeah so, so what, what races do you have here what, what is Mankele known for for the people that don't know yeah, definitely what put us onto the map was uh, SA Champs Cross Country. Okay. So we do cross country and downhill racing and then we've got our big uh, three-tile stage race, which is a three-day race where guys come through, we feed them, uh, put out the trails and it's a three-day race. Uh, and how, many, how many people are you? Uh, we on? limit ours to 600 riders. 600? Yeah. And then where do they sleep? Uh, we put up tents and mattresses and we've got all ablutions. And so you've got enough space over here for 600 riders? Plus families, yes. Plus families? yeah okay all right so I, I haven't seen all of it yet but wow so 600 tents 600 riders will uh, definitely go and have a look where this fits in you got this pristine river over here and i saw a couple of rafts over there <laughs> please tell me that you're doing something like that look well we're going to definitely uh, baptize you in the river a little bit later on the water is chilies at the moment but it's still hey, a good remember job, i'm eh? from dubai i'm used to 50 <laughs> degrees celsius right <laughs> no no you're gonna love it it's really cool you know we, we load the guys up on the back of the vehicle yeah we take portage them up to the top of the river sort of just opposite sudwala lodge yeah jump in there and you have a lacquer cruise all the way down the river it's a couple of k's yeah. and you know there's some chilled sections where you're just floating down the beautiful river yeah and there's a bit of white water and a few small rapids and stuff just to get the adrenaline pumping all right, fun. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be putting me on a bike, yeah? Oh, no, definitely. You have to, yeah. yeah. I'm here. I want, to, I want to come ride, so... Yeah, look, and I mean, also, um, definitely when we started Mankeli, a, a lot of our trails was made for what we want to do. And we've, yeah. we've toned down a lot of the trails or added more trails for, for the weekend riders. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, uh, our, our big thing is that guys must come through as families, you know, and that's, that's what we want is a, a good family weekend away or a week away or whatever the case may be that we can just spend it as a family. That, yeah, because I saw you've got a, a swimming pool and like a LARPA area, so uh, I, I can only assume that I'm riding, my wife doesn't ride, um, so I go out early in the morning and the kids are at the pool. Uh, that's probably the kind of environment yeah. that you're looking at. Yeah, we've got two, two pools up. We've got one that's got the entertainment area that's on the other side too. And, and um, even when we built our cabins, that was our, our whole missioning behind it. Because at that stage, like I say, mountain biking wasn't yeah. that big where more women ride than men now. Yeah. Um, but we were also thinking if the husband got, decides to go for a ride, he doesn't want to leave uh, the wife in a bit of a dodgy place. You know? yeah. So we really went out and, and made the cabins as nice and comfortable as possible so they can come out and if he goes for a two hour ride and mommy's at home with the kids they've got yeah. lots of stuff to do from doing a little mini zip line playing in the pools going for walks you know we've got walks also to to the mini waterfall and so there, there's a lot of stuff to do a lot of wildlife running around so too. your cabins what size cabins what kind of catering are you looking for because if i'm if i'm driving from johannesburg how far is this this is probably it's roughly about three, three hours. hours yeah three hours so yeah. i'm coming down i've got a bunch of my mates and family coming down can you accommodate me like that Look, for sure, you know, obviously it depends, you know, whether we're fully booked or not, but yeah. uh, we've, we've always got camping facilities which are available to everybody. Yeah. 
<clears throat> we've got three permanent uh, tents, sort of, you know, that are there with their own bathroom facilities, showers, and that. So and, luxury and kind of tent that you find in, uh, I think in the nature reserves. You get those luxury mm. tents. Yeah? That's safari it. That's tent. it. Yeah, safari tent, uh, and they can take sleep with five yeah. per, per, per tent. And then we've got the three log cabins which sleep okay. up to eight people. Wow. So it's self-catering. Yeah, Do you self-catering. have any facilities over here where I can buy some cool drinks or yeah, got a, a couple of beers or whatever the yeah. case may be? We've got a coffee shop that's open seven days a week. Okay. Which obviously does uh, your lighter meals, yeah. your burgers and chips and wraps and uh, full English breakfasts, which is always good after a ride. Yeah. And then obviously also selling cold drinks and chips and your so basics, chocolates. Not, a, not even just the person staying for the weekend, the person coming through for a day can kids can that's come it. out here spend time, some time at the pool while I'm up in the mountains with the that's missus it, that's, and then it's a big a thing that we've been doing too is with uh, the kiddie parties because of uh, oh. the way things are going yeah. guys are buying smaller smaller properties they yeah. can't really host a, a birthday party at their house okay. so for six year olds and up yeah. you know the guys come through and they do a little birthday party we do a whole setup for them from the gazebos to the tables everything you just bring your snacks and bring the people and have a job yeah. uh, but you know, now I'm thinking. So now we've got kids coming over here. Kids party. Do you have, do you have any kind of like a track for the kids to play, like supervised kind of area where the parents can sit back and the kids can ride, or do they just ride freely on the open area, or, or how do you? What's nice about Mankeli is um, it's pretty flat at the bottom. Yeah. When you go on the bigger rides, it's not flat. Yeah. But um, so we've got an adventure zone that's marked out here. It's actually 2.4 kilometers worth of trail that just cuts back on itself. Yeah. And then there's a little BMX course too. So, and that's close to the swimming pool. So okay. the, the kids, most of the time, they, they stay in that area. Um, when they come through and we've got groups and, or parties, we say to the yeah. kids, you're not allowed to climb out of the Mankeli's little area, safe area, like yeah. you call it. Because you've also got the river. They can't go past this way. Yes. So it's a very, very safe environment. Right. So, yeah, it's awesome. a win-win. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see this. Uh, Mark and Jeff are going to take me around right now. We're going to have a look at look at everything we've just spoken about, and then hopefully I'm going to get a chance to get on a bike and go and explore this beautiful area. And uh, and then I'm sure they're going to chuck me into a cold river after we've gone for a nice hot ride. So, um, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for accommodating awesome. Expedition Extreme. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Lucky, lucky. And uh, we're going to be spending the next couple of nights over here. So. Uh, Watch, watch the footage. Once again, this entire trip is leaving Dubai or leaving your home destination with a backpack, clothes, and that's it. So we're at Mankele Mountain Bike Resort, an adventure resort as such, and I obviously didn't bring a bicycle. So the beauty is that they rent bicycles. I suggest when you make your booking that you include in the booking that you need to rent a, ve- a, a bicycle. Um, Good quality bicycles. The next couple of days, we're going to be exploring all over the place over here. So let's go and have a look what they've got. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. how are you? My name is Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. I'm Nachi. Nachi? Yeah, the man in charge. Yeah. The man in charge. I come to Mankele. So this is the master in charge. Yeah. Do you have bicycles for me, please, sir? Of course, of course, bicycles for rent, right? Yeah. So you got little ones? Yes. I don't need a small one. For kids. Yeah? Yeah, but yeah, I hope you can find a size from these bikes here. Yeah. As you can see, I feel large. I'm small, a bit makulu, so I think we'll take the large one. And medium. You want the large? I think I'll take the large Good, one. Cool, of course, the large. I think this is your size. Fantastic. So what, what do you think? I think I think this will do just perfect. Yeah, then you can you can take it outside and fill it for your ride. It's, it's a perfect, it's a bike, it is a perfect bike. And it, you normally take them for service and still in a good condition. Good. Yes. Excellent. So this is going to be my ride for the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully I bring it back to you in one piece. I, I hope so, I hope, I hope so. so. Please, please. Do you, do you have a helmet and everything oh, for me? Of course, of course. I, good I, stuff. I, I do have helmets. You ready to go for a ride, Sean? Yeah, I'm ready. First of all, you need to put one of these on your pup. Ah, yes, of course. And, Safety uh, first. You don't want to get that shirt dirty, yeah? So you can go oh. with a lovely Mankele shirt for today. You better ride like a pro, eh? Make us proud. Ah, Mankele shirt. Now I'm going to ride really quickly.
was that? Amazing. Wow, oh, look at this. Fenced in area, swimming pool, picnic facilities if you're a day visitor. If you're gonna be spending a couple of nights camping over here, nice shaded area for you to do your braai or your breakfast or whatever the case may be. I've, I've chosen a spot that's just conveniently close enough. The kitchenette area is over here and this is where we're gonna be camping tonight. So I'll be setting up the camp area here but what they've done is they've created a nice shaded area so it doesn't work for me with a rooftop tent but most people will have their own ground tent park the vehicle in the shaded area over here so your cooler boxes are still um, in the shade and you would set up your tent anywhere in this area which is also nice if you don't want to go to the communal area and do your barbecue over there you have facilities right next to where you'd be setting up your camp. Well thought of, um, obviously there's a lot of them in this area and as we heard from them, from the owners, they can cater up to 600 people or 600 cyclists and their families. So for the less adventurous people that don't want to set up the rooftop tents or the standard tents here in the campground they've provided these safari tents over here so that's one step up from setting up your own camp camping out over here you can actually stay in one of these i was wrong this is not just a slight step up from camping just down here these safari tents are just phenomenal and look at this your own outhouse but this is no normal outhouse. Well thought of guys, this is truly a family destination. So if you're doing what we're doing, the 10 to 15 days away, being totally self-sufficient, however, only arriving with your backpack, this is one of the spots you need to come and visit. Our next episode, we head three hours north to a private game reserve called Timbavati. We'll be meeting up with Etienne and his family who will be joining us for the next 10 days traveling through the bushveld into Mozambique and heading the beach. Remember to subscribe and more importantly join Follow us on Instagram. We are going to be launching a small giveaway next week sometime so get on there as quick as you can and stand a chance to win some cool giveaways. See you in the next episode. Remember if it's dusty drive it.